Okay, it's time to talk turkey. Today we'll be discussing dead animal parts, depression, and the descending holidays. You've been warned. Hi, this is Dottie the Psychic, and I scrapped a chunk of this video because I had to deal with depression and like an exercise, but like I've obviously referenced it a little bit in the intro and a little bit at the end. So, yeah, that's, there's a chunk that I just decided to not. Since we're dealing with the surreal funk of the season of death, let's handle an archetypal symbol of death. Bones! <laughs> I had more, but Luther ate them. Did you eat mommy's bones? Yes, you ate mommy's bones. My favorite form of osteomancy is forensic anthropology. Science discovered scientists discovered the dark secrets of the dead by studying the scratches and structures of the bones. That sounds mighty magical to me. Let's learn more by watching the bone whisperer in the links below. Proofs of prehistoric pyromancy have been found fairly far flung. Most of the remains are scapulas from large livestock. During the Shang Dynasty, schools were structured so students could scribe and reenact the right rituals to read the burnt breaks in the bovine bones. Some of the scapulas came from human sacrifices. Ooh. Find more fun facts from Finko below. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm wearing a bandana. It's supposed to look kind of piratey. I'll get to the point. The Greeks have a type of osteomancy that's called astro, there's astrogeomancy or astro, uh, astrogolomancy. God, it's a rough word. Anyway, they use small vertebrae bones or dice that are marked with numbers, sometimes special letters, to divine the future. And that's part of where the term tossing bones came from, because it developed into a, a gambling thing. You know, we still shoot crap. But that's where the term throwing bones came from, in real, you know, as in, to bet on dice. It was pretty popular among sailors and pirates. So I know I'm missing uh, a couple, at least a couple of different types of divination you can do with bones. But the last one I want to talk about is something that has becoming more popular with the, with the spread of, you know, with the one with YouTube. You can actually find a lot of videos on it, so I didn't link one particular one below because I really couldn't pick one that I liked the best. Um, but it actually comes from the African traditions that were brought over with people that had been enslaved, and then it's developed here with the influence of, like, Native Americans. Um... And I like it partially because you don't necessarily have to have bones. It's little pieces. I've started putting a little kit together. I've got the turkey bones I got from Friendsgiving, which they mean something because you hang out with people you like. I'll probably keep that one in there. These are a little too big. But I've kind of picked stuff that has a particular meaning. Like there is a deer tooth, and that is something my new fur baby brought me. We went walking in the woods. Yes, I hear you. I have a, you know, I have a coin that is supposed to look like a doubloon, and my my little brother gave it to me. I've got a couple little rocks in here that I'm kind of using as pointers. I got a little heart, just different things that mean different stuff to me, which is part of why I like this particular divination because I was looking at it and it um, it's so 
personal that no two casting sets are going to be the same. And I can see this is definition more than anyone where somebody else's set is not going to work for you. Like, it's not like where tarot cards, you have almost textbook meanings to them. The bones are something that you have to study with somebody. That you have to develop your own meaning for each piece. Um, so I'm not even going to try and divine with them tonight. But I'm working on that set. And I'm going to kind of work with it. So I want to see where this goes. Because some of the pieces, like, when I started doing this, I started finding some interesting pieces that really did, like, the deer tooth. And I found a coin, like a pressed coin. And I never do pressed coins. But I've got a pressed coin from Virginia Beach. Which is significant to me. So, I started a little jar. I've got my, I'm wrapping them in a red bandana. But I got it in a glass jar because I'm putting stuff in there as I kind of clean my room and find it. And it's strange that some of the stuff has survived the great purge of my life. So... That's part of why I've, some of the things I've added in here. I, like I said, I've never tried that type of divination. I really haven't tried any of these types of divination. I mean, you know, who hasn't watched Forensic Files, but. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to look more into these. Minus the human sacrifice, of course. Oh. Let's trust the season up with fellowship and family and all the good stuff and wonder. And let's call our strange friends who like to play with bones before they show up at our house with a roadkill and a bottle of liquor. Don't forget to check out my Facebook, my Patreon, and my Instagram. <sighs> Happy holidays. Safe travel and much profit to you.